Hit that woe. The only thing I... Oh, money's kind of low, too. Yeah, your fun's really low. So I, I know. Tried, man. I've been trying to give fun all this time. Look at me dabbing. During recess, you start a half-hour rape that goes full cray-cray. <laughs> uh, everything is fine until Juan, the small and magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember. You suck at dancing. Well, you, decide... at dancing. <laughs> well, you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move. Apparently, it's called the Groovy Musa. Musa. Hell yeah. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him that Groovy Musa. In no time. Uh, oh, you want to look at it? Um, in no time. Half of the party is following your steps and enjoying the groovy Mosaka together. It's a party to remember. You gain two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Okay. Too much Pauline. I know. Why is Pauline fucking everywhere? Uh, Jesus Christ. Later, you see Polly floating around. And her ghostly glow less ghastly than usual. Oh, hey, Worf. Just hovering a little low today. Everyone seems to be hyped about love, and I love being hyped, but I'm not really sure how this love thing works, you know? I thought I was in love once. I met a beautiful girl at a party and felt this strange magic. My temperature rose. I felt even floatier than usual. Everything was so bright and beautiful. I was ecstatic. Then I remembered that I had to take a literal ecstasy, so it was probably just that. <laughs> Uh, classic mistake, am I right? I had some pretty good highs, but they say being in love isn't the greatest high. It's the greatest high of all. The next time I'm on a date with someone, what can I do to fall in love? Or float in love? Since gravity doesn't actually affect me. Oh, you don't want Polly to float in love with another person. But you like Polly just too much to not help her. Despite the consequences. Scientifically speaking, people fall in love faster when afraid. Do something fun with them, like getting stabbed. Stare deeply into their eyes for 14 hours. Uh, this one. Ooh. Oh my god, great point. I love someone. science. I was basing it off of his last conversation, right? <laughs> All right Jesus. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't... I mean, I don't, but I love it when it gets me drugs or gets me laid. Loved, not laid. Loved and loved. With that, Polly disappears, literally, to begin her quest for the terror that is love. She catches up to you uh, a few days later. Hey, so I went on a Tinder date with another night with a super cute humanoid and took him to getting a stab party, just like he suggested. It was awesome. He was so terrified. It was like each time a knife entered him, he got more scared. And more in love with me. And the day continued. Caused. And then the day continued. Because he bled out and died. And became a ghost. So we had even more in common. Like I'm over it now. Obviously. But I'm pretty sure I was in love for like 15 whole minutes. Next time I'm going to go try and work my way up to 25. Polly. In love for 25 minutes. Maybe next time it'll be with you. Maybe you'll even make it to 50 minutes or eternity. Either way, you opened up Polly, Polly's heart metaphorically to love and gain two charm and one smart. I want to get fun. <laughs> That's no fun. I want to see Polly and the cat. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some specific moments. So, take a look. I have seven money. High school social, um, a PR agent. High school social life is so hard nowadays that hiring a PR agent is totally a thing. Is that Bob Ross? Yeah. <laughs> I Great forgot movie. who, who uh, Oz was originally voiced by. Who he is definitely not voiced by anymore. Good old cocaine. These times are weird experiments. Hmm, maybe that's... 
Um, a fake badass tattoo. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies. Go to prison or make everyone your bitch and murder them. Two. Um, and go to some kind of super prison? Straight cat street cred. 9,000. Would he like me with some impractical yet fun, kind of funny glasses? It's five bucks. Oh! Uh, that raises fun? Yeah. Purchased. Well, you just uh, lost your fun. Dang it. Uh, nothing better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are many better smells, but you know what I mean, right? All right, my turn. Let's... You have a lot of money. <laughs> and? I don't know. <laughs> He's like, can I flex plug in? Listen, I'm, I'm Chinese, right? Yeah, I, I'm sure. a stingy little Chinaman. Chinaman. Yeah. That day you're the first one in class. You sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. He's a little bitter, but he's in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, excelling at a cliched movie trope. You gain two smarts and one valuable life in that will help you face the difficulties of Ah, the sound of learning! Chalk on a chalkboard, pencils on paper, an ominous crash. It would seem that Damien and Vera got knocked over several deaths in a rush to get into one particular seat. Listen, Snake for Brains, don't you dare even think about. Back off, Rimstone Breath. I will turn you to stone before you can snap your oddly well manicured fingers. What makes you think you're worthy of sitting in the ultimate cool seat? I could get more likes posting a picture of me flipping you off than you get with a full frontal nude. Ha, huh, clearly you never seen my nudes. Ever heard of a demon douche bros texting.com? Well then, if my sex are are internet famous, I'm obviously the fucking coolest. You think being ridiculed on the internet makes you cooler than being King Minos list of wealthiest human hybrids under 300 years old? Okay. This could go forever. Better settle it for them. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Call down a unholy storm of rhinoceri to obliterate the sea. Huh. Heave forth, rhinoceri. <laughs> um. Damn. Okay. If you want either or with that one. Damien seems more chaotic. So I think he would like obliteration. Well, this, yeah, go for it, man. But I don't want Damien. Why not? Just, I want Vera because I'm. She's rich. I have money. Fuck. No. You shove Damien and Vera out of the way and plop your butt down on the ultimate cool seat. Asshole. You smirk gleefully at their admir admiration-filled speechless stares, but that's not admir. But that's not admiration. That's horror. Your ass is smoking, and not like your ass is smoking as in hot. Like, it's, it is hot, but in the literal sense. It's on fire. Your butt is on fire. You leapt out of your seat, howling in pain, as a glowing legend appears across the cherub's back. Whoever is not the raddest will totally get their ass lit on fire if they sit here. Damn. Well then, that settles that. I mean, we may not know which one of us is the absolute coolest, but we know who's absolutely not. He <laughs> just got yeah. fucking turned down. Here, let me help you with that fire. Damien's help comes in the form of stomping the fire out. Aww. Minus two fun and one boldness. Which is an occupation. Programmer. Um, clinical psychologist. Uh... A chef. 
homeless. <laughs> oh. That's a oh. great occupation. <laughs> Player is ordered called America's Next Occupation. <laughs> okay, Alan wins. Okay, Fuck. listen, yeah. listen, hear me out. Dude, no, Alan, you won. We're not gonna argue that. Alright, debate okay. who's second. Hmm. I'll, whoever, I'll hacks, whoever hacks into the nuclear launch codes wins first. Bam, programmer. <laughs> America's next chef. But I feel like that's already like a. It's always been a thing. That's I why. know that's just that's already why... a thing. So it's the lamest. No, Gross. it's not the lamest. You want to, You telling me you want to hear the America's next uh, clinical psychologist? No, that sounds fair enough. Okay. <laughs> and uh, are you telling me you would actually want to go watch uh, uh, the America's Next Programmers? Yeah, who wouldn't? Do you I not want to learn how to hack into the nuclear launch code? Have you I'd seen rather, someone I'd rather cold? see how much I can cook. Yes, actually, I have. I've done it. It's hard, but it's, it's really boring. It's really cool when it yeah, works. Yeah, it's, it's cool when you're doing it. It's Alan agreed. I was in a whole class of it, and yes, it was I, so it was cool my... seeing everyone get it right. And I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, and I was my major for a year. I made, I made a, I made a circuit board. Give me answer. <laughs> it is the most boring so, thing to watch. To stare at someone not... tapping on their keyboard for like... While you're Alan, who, some sounds. Okay, Alan, who would you choose out of me or a Sin in this situation? What, why, would you you, you, why would they show the entire process? They probably just show, like, oh, fuck, I fucked up here, or and then the final result. They wouldn't go, like, the. that's not how TV works. What entertaining part of coding is there? Seeing a huge fuck-up and seeing the success. A huge fuck-up? Is this someone tapping the back... Backspace for like a few times and retyping the true. <laughs> it's tapping the backspace. <laughs> the biggest retyping code can be the funniest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> I beg to differ because I you did try to learn. Never it. Seen have you ever seen Gordon Ramsay? Okay, to be fair, it it depends on what they're coding. What are they trying to like code giant death robots to like fight each other or like what's going on? Fuck yeah. Oh, That's now you're giving point. a backstory, okay? Okay, or or you're like going out into the wild, killing the animals, and using those animals as your ingredients to cook. Like fresh like food? Gordon Ramsay? Gordon yeah. Ramsay actually did that with, like, he went to, yeah, like, a he, like, frozen killed war, he killed birds. Yeah. Birds he, are it, nothing. He pretty, it was pretty scallop, badass, though. Scallop diving, he went crab diving. I, it was, I'm yeah. talking oh. about killing an entire hydra, or something big i don't think you're going to do that i think that'll be america's next dead person <laughs> <laughs> that that seems kind of entertaining but that's not the show is it well okay. it will become the show okay uh programming has you have tons of stuff to be created with okay. nuclear Andy, what about you death row all right l let's give the clinical psychologist pick whoever should be second except clinical psychology <laughs> okay, no here, let, me define, let me define clinical psych. Right? No having bias. Think of, it like this. Think of it like this. America's next to clinical psych. It's not about the actual like psychologist. It's gonna be about their patients because you're gonna you're gonna see a well, whole then lot of the shows are about the person. It's what, about what? the results. I know, I know. But like that's the thing. You're like you see, like it's them and then their partner. And then so the, the programming the thing stars. becomes entirely valid if it's only showing the failures and success. If if the psych one's no, 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 the patient. At the beginning, right? At the beginning, they messed up. And then, overall time, then the psychologists do their thing, and then they'll make it all dramatic. Like, oh, I couldn't quite convince them to do this thing. Like, oh, they wouldn't tell me about something today. And so, in the end, and then you'll see who's made the best improvement out of all of them. So a smarter version of Kim Kardashian? All right. oh. <laughs> Let me get a timer up. Um, got it. All right. I, I'm going to make all three of you give me a one minute pitch. And I choose whoever's pitch is the most entertaining. I already know I won, so. All right. Sin, you're up first. Three, <coughs> two, one. Okay. So it's a programming show where many different people are programming many different things. So... You've got death robots, nuclear codes, 
You've even got simple things like how to program a blender, except it shows even the parts where they fuck up, where it's like, oh god, you accidentally released an entire army of death robots, and instead of putting enemy soldiers, you put babies! And now the death robots are killing babies, so the other guy with the nuclear launch codes has to finish his codes before the death robots kill all the babies! America's Nuts Programmer. Was that it? Yeah. Alright, clocking in at 35 seconds. Alright, Worf. Your turn. Uh, let me reset. Right. Three, two, one. America's next chef. All right. So, so basically, it's all about this. Where it's not only just going into the wild. You have to go look up, study the fucking ingredients. All right, because it's not going to be just plain old uh, eggs and bacon type shit. All right, it's going to be. It's going to be like chefs anymore. This is just good. Huh? Yes, astrologists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna. This is gastronomy gonna like, at this point. <laughs> gastronomy? Yeah, the study of food. The study of food. Yeah. Well, uh, I think America's best chef would be like Gordon Ramsay. It's going to be like a Gordon Ramsay where someone yells at a bunch of people trying to do like cooking foods and stuff like that, right? And then on top of that, you're just going to have... If someone messes up, it's going to be like their food smash upon their faces and it's gonna be so like house kitchen is that house kitchen they do that sometimes yeah yeah i only watch like that Gordon ramsey's parts where it's just like him screaming at a bunch of little people mm -hmm. it's pretty funny <laughs> i don't know i can't come up with best pitches all right i wasn't i mean i wasn't you, paying attention to the time but better pitch to uh than uh, Hell's Kitchen already is. All right. <laughs> Clinical psychologist, are you ready? I'm scared. Three, I'm... two, one. Okay. Clinical psych. America's next. Clinical psychologist. They all go head to head. I'm trying to help as many people as they can. And now, this is where there's a plot twist, right? So yeah, the psychologists are the spot. Um, are in the show when they're the main point. But we get to shine on their lovely patients and see what they do. People love that. Love it when people are, like, you know, astray from normal. So, um, in America's next psych clinical psych, they'll see how what they can do to help these people. And if they can, if there's even any improvement at all. Whoever made the most improvement is America's next clinical psychologist. The end. I don't think I want a TV show to determine <laughs> who gets um, legally allowed to determine how I get to see my brain. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, you first? No, it's um, it's Alan, then Sin, then you, then me. Ah, oh, okay.